Good afternoon. This is Darlis Mays, and uh, Deb Peterson is here to ask some questions regarding the activity we had with the World Morago Center and New Eyes, New Vision. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to read the Akashic, the Akashic Record reading for the group. So Deb's going to ask some questions regarding our time together and, uh, and uh, we'll ask in the field. So with that, I'm in the records and uh, ready for the questions, Deb. What was the most important purpose of having the group of people be at the Taos retreat? <laughs> well, there's, there's several things that stick out. The first thing is, is that bringing this collaboration together, this energy of all the different beings that were together, and one of the main purposes was to clear that land, um, they don't like that word, to raise the vibration of, of that land. And, um, okay, so masters and teachers. So that was done with, with Darlis and Deb doing their work, but also it was the energy, the powerful, powerful energy of that coming together of that group. Mm. This group has worked together in many realms together in the past, and it was a deep reunion of everyone coming back together and all showing up with their bright, shiny faces and their energy and all the information that, that they brought forth. And this was not just about the presenters. It was not just about um, Joseph and Nina did an incredible job of bringing this group together. Um, it was the participants. It was, oh, it was the people that worked at the resort. There, there was many comments mentioned about the employees that worked there about that group, and they were able to witness that light um, and that energy from your group in, in a new way. Um, <laughs> they're showing that group as being a beacon of light, like almost like a lighthouse where that, that strong beacon um, covers covers that whole area, so that's what happened. It it was the it, it was a really upliftment um, for that resort employees, like they haven't ever felt before. It was everyone from the car parkers to the people who cleaned the rooms to the servers to everyone felt that bacon and that and it, it's a warm energy light. So so the whole purpose was for a reunion and in a deep remembrance of what each individual has to offer and that the sum of the parts are always greater when brought together. Um, and not, that's really an important piece moving forward not to be forgotten, is that moving forward, that group would really benefit to stay together in close contact. And what does, you know, you, this group was told it was recreating the Garden of Eden. And, and that truly is happening. However, that's not going to happen unless you can really keep that group together. And um, it's, a, it's, it's a feeding off of each other. Uh, and it and it's not knowledge; it's energy. It's it's feeding off each other's energy, being in the light of each other's energy, being in the warmth of each other's energy is really really powerful. And and some people in that group are living as light beacons, kind of maybe isolated, where there's not a, a lot of others around them that are also light workers or light walkers. And so they feel very alone. Um, they're actually bringing up um, the, 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 the people that lived in Mexico and, and the woman that lives in Canada and, and how sometimes they feel uh, isolated with their, with their work, um, with what they're supposed to carry forth. And so being part of this group on a regular basis and being in touch with everybody, um, that is a really important piece you know, going forward. 
Good. I don't know if that answered the question, Deb. They get off on a rant. And <laughs> yeah, that was good. Here's the next question then. Okay. How has the retreat positively affected or going to affect the participants the most? Okay. It's it's about that deep remembrance of who they are and to not forget that, whether you're a participant, whether you're a presenter, whether you're, you know, for all of, of you, for all of you, it is a deep remembrance of what you came here to do. And there's people in that group um, that came as participants that might be in the shadows more than some of the presenters that are out there every day and surrounded by other light walkers. Uh, it's particularly important for them to remember who they are. One thing that took place in that group that was so powerful is that almost 100% of the people on a deep soul level never felt that they were just a participant that they were in this circle together, that they were equals. Yeah, they might not be up there speaking, but that sitting in that circle, some of them remembered, oh yeah, yeah, I remember this. I remember who I am. I remember that I could be up there speaking. Um, there was a deep remembrance of um, being together before, a deep level of love, a deep level of acceptance, for wherever anybody was. Um, lots of incredible information came out of there on many different levels, some of them subtle, some of them not so subtle, but incredible information came forth. And um, even the land work that was done, there was, there was people in that group that remembered, oh yeah, I used to do this in another galaxy. I, I remember this work. I, I know how to do that. I have the knowledge and the wherewithal to be able to do anything that took place at that retreat, I can do too. So it was a deep remembrance of, um, of them coming into their own work on a higher level uh, or play. They're, they're correcting me. It's not about working anymore. It's about coming together and being together and playing and and being in that beautiful energy. Mm. I think that's it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. Mm. What is best for people to focus on this next year that is in best alignment with their Earth missions? Mm. Mm. Wow. To bring people together in community in your own area um the people there's a there's a couple of pockets of people that might feel like they're alone and we've mentioned that before to know that they can go out and they can call in other other community to call together a community in their own community if they don't have that and for the ones that do have that some of some of us are very fortunate and have that home group and if you already have that home group, the members that already have that, how about going out and, and planting that star seed somewhere else is how they're, they're, you know, and go and have a class somewhere where it might be in a rural area where people are feeling really isolated. And when you can go and have a class at a place like that, and then other, and then other people realize that, hey, there's other people awake just on the same level that I am, and coming to this class, it brings them together, and then really encourage them to stay together in that small community. So it might be a small town or, they're saying, yeah, it could even be a big city where people are so busy and they're just, you know, passing each other, but to really take that time to build the community. Because going forth, it's all about love and generosity and helping one another and being there and no top dog, no lower dog. Everybody is equal. 
And so bringing together community and then actually living in that community is really powerful. And that's what's really needing, especially for this um, upcoming year. There looks like the unity is disappearing, but it's not. It's really coming together. People are really feeling the need of that unity because without us realizing that we're all one, we're not going to get to go where we need to go. Um, so it's about uh, feeling that you are and knowing that and remembering that you are an equal and that there are other people in your community and you're going to call those communities together. Um, so it's really a beautiful opportunity. There is no separation. There is none of this um, having to what you will all would say step on others backs in order to um, and, and in order to get higher on your own accord, it's when we come in community, that's where we have the power. You were all shown that as a group. It, it was just uh, such a bright beacon. And, and you all felt it. You felt that community on a higher level. And you all came from around the country and from different countries. And, and to know that there is no separation, that's the biggest message, especially for upcoming for 2018. So where is your opportunities to come together? It might be on a, a platform such as the computer where you can see each other. But, but definitely, it's, it's important to get together. Thank you. That's all the questions. Okay. So masters and teachers, we're just going to open it up for dialogue and, and let whatever you would like to say to the group uh, come through in a beautiful way. Okay. First of all, there's a, there's a much bowing down of the Akashic realm and saying that for many of you that was a step out of your comfort zone to attend that event and you did it without question you just did it and um, and we honor that we honor because when you do that it, it's making that commitment for the higher good the higher good for everyone and um, and so we really are honoring that you made that commitment and that you did that and um, now the challenge is staying together as a group, but also just, you know, doing the offshoots and, and making other communities shine. Um, boy, just so beautiful. If, if you didn't feel it that week that you were there, we, we want you to know that you were held by many, many different realms and you were greatly honored for what you came there to do, the, the coming together, the whole, the whole bit. Um, <laughs> they're saying a special shout out to Joseph and Nina. Um, wow. You know, they, they had come through a trying time coming up to the retreat and, and pulled it off without a hitch um, and holding that beautiful energy so that that beacon can shine out to the world. And moving forward, one thing we'd really like to say is that abundance is yours for the asking or for setting the intention. That when you come together and you do the highest good for all, you will be taken care of in great abundance. That some of you are struggling with that right now. Um, just put that by the side and say, no, I'm showing up. I'm doing my part. You're all, everybody's well. Um, the importance is to keep that vibration really, really high. So whatever it takes to keep that vibration high at this time is really important. Mm. Well, this is one of the most important times of, of this planet. And we know that you've all heard that for some of what seems eons of time, but um, wow, it's coming down to the balancing beam. And to know where, what side you are on that balancing beam and to walk that balancing beam with a straight back and great balance and grace is, is what you're called to do right now. You're here to help people that, that are just coming awake, 
you're here to help the white hats and you're here to hold the energy even for the not so white hats, <laughs> the sister hats. Um, you're here in that balanced energy to, to hold both sides together. It's almost like they don't want to say, okay, so masters and teachers, we're not saying that it's walking the plank. We're saying it's walking the balancing beam because that's a higher energy. And, and you all are able to do that. And you're all able to hold this energy. And we want you to know that it's some of the most powerful work that's so needed at this time that you all are going to make look like you're dancing in a bed of daisies. <laughs> that's a good one. Um, you're making it look so easy. And it's just all about keeping that energy and that vibrational uh, field very, very high. And most of you do that through the work that you're doing on the planet. So we want you to know that there's deep reverence in all realms for each and every one of you and as a collective. Mm. Mm. That's good. Masters and teachers, anything else? Mm. <laughs> Just enjoy this time. You're going to all look back at this time, and it's going to be like a snap of the finger where we're living in this right now. Doesn't feel like a snap of the finger, but really in the great scheme of things, it really is. And you're all going to be able to look back and know the part that you played um, and feel really good about what you came here to do and that you were able to do it. So, very good. So, masters and teachers, anything else? Mm. They're like, that's enough. Did, did anything else come up that you'd like to ask about? No, I think it did great. Yeah, I think it was good too. Okay, so masters and teachers, we want to thank you for um, always being there and available to us um, whenever, just for the asking. And uh, we honor all the information that you brought forth for everybody today. And we're going to close the records by saying, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you. Amen, amen, amen. Mm. Very good.